go for a little ride up the uh, little canyon here. Let's see how it goes. This is on the 2022 Kawasaki Z400. I've got 655 miles on it. So, ready to do the first service. And give you my review, see what uh, what I like, what I don't like about it. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's a uh, it's a good motorcycle for beginners. Just moved out here before I had it in California, and didn't really feel comfortable riding the streets and the highways out there. It's just a little crazy. I'm a single dad. I got three kids at home, so I'd rather be uh, a little safe than riding around in the streets of LA. So, here we go. Let's see. I mean, it's got decent enough power to get you going. Uh, nothing special, but you know, does the job. Let's get past this uh, big truck trailer here. Never fun riding next to these big things. Beautiful day today. Sun is out. It's a little brisk. It's I think it's uh, mid 60s right now, which isn't bad. I gotta say, downshifting on this is just so easy. It uh, has a slipper clutch, so you don't have to perfectly rev match. I mean, it's good to practice it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, better turn off my blinker. The one thing I do have to say about the exhaust on this is at higher speeds, it's so quiet that it's uh, almost even hard to hear. And it does have a really high pitched whine to it. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but high pitched whine. We got the beautiful fall colors up in the mountains. That is uh, really nice right now. I think this weekend gonna go on a ride up through the canyons. And that is just some beautiful riding. I mean, just amazing. The, I just upgraded my helmet. I've got the Shelly RF. 1400 before I had the HJC i10 and man that thing was just brutal as far as noise wind noise just like unbearable above like 45 miles an hour it was unbearable so you can, I don't know if you can see but this is a pretty steep hill and fourth gear you know 7,000 rpm it's got power to get up it, plenty of power. Uh, the one thing I did have to do, especially when I was riding in the summer here, uh, you know, 100 night, high 90s, 100 degree weather, was I had to switch out the, uh, the coolant with engine ice. And man, that made a big difference. That made a huge difference. I mean, before it was, you know, the heat levels were all the way up.
pretty much the whole time riding, which it shouldn't be. And engine ice, I would say, brought it down at least one bar. So it's a new setup. Uh, I'm filming on the GoPro Hero 11 block. Got the Purple Panda microphone. We'll see how it does. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but uh, we'll see. We took it for a test the other day and it did okay, except the footage was just completely washed out and couldn't see. So change the settings. I have an ND filter on here, ND16, and hopefully that will work a lot better. So, let's uh, give it a little gas and see how we go. Fourth gear for this uh, this hill is kind of the sweet spot. I mean, the fifth gear, it just lags going up these hills. It just doesn't have enough power uh, at lower RPMs to have any sort of, you know, get up and go if you need to pass a car or anything. So fourth gear, about 7,000 RPM going up these hills is, you know, I found is kind of where the sweet spot is with this bike. You know, the power kind of really kicks on above seven, 8,000 RPM. That's when you really kind of feel it. Below that, I mean, you know, it's it's a 400cc, 399cc bike, so you can't expect too much from it. So I bought it new. Um, I actually got a pretty good deal on it, I think. The dealer had, a, uh, had $500 off the bike, and uh, I was able to negotiate a pretty decent deal. Um, with their, you know, they, they add on all their fees and everything, so I negotiated some of those out. But uh, I'm really happy with it so far. You know, there's been a couple times when I've been riding and as a beginner and I'm just saying, oh man, thank you that it's only a 400cc bike because if it was anything higher, I think, you know, I, I could have gotten myself into trouble. You know, and learning to ride a little bit more and shifting gears, you know, you accidentally shift in a corner and you know or you, you miss a gear and it's uh you know sometimes you're just happy that uh, it's only 400 cc bike so i have taken it on the highway a few times uh you know plenty of power I haven't, you know, you do feel the wind quite a bit, but you know, it's not horrible. I've ridden in semi-windy conditions, you know, you go you go past big semi-trucks at 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour, and it's not terrible, uh, definitely manageable. But look at that view, wow. It's so beautiful here. The fall. So I haven't had any issues on the highway, you know, I, I top speed, I think I've gotten it up to, I got it up to 101 briefly, just to check how fast. Uh, and let me preface that by saying, I'm not a beginner rider. I've ridden motorcycles before. I had a uh, zero electric motorcycle. I built my own electric motorcycle. And so I've been riding for several years, but uh, this is my first gas motorcycle. And I switched just because I wanted to go on longer rides. You know, when it's cold outside, the uh, electric bikes don't do too don't do too great. 
range wise um, you know torque wise they're fantastic they're a lot of fun uh, but you know there is something visceral about a gasoline motorcycle you can feel the vibrations you get that audible sound I think uh, it, McLaren did a study and they said that 60% of the driving experience is the sound so it's not just the feel of the car it's not just the power it's 60% of the experience of drivers is the sound and I think that's true you know riding an electric motorcycle is great but you do miss out on that sound every once in a while and you know I, I find it actually really enjoyable to work the clutch it just makes it a more kind of interactive experience I think I think there's a little street up here to turn around on. Yeah, we'll go here. One thing I have been working on is like that, where you make sure you're in the right gear before the turn. Got quite a bit of rocks here, so we'll keep it in second gear. Work the clutch. Find that friction zone. And there we go. Drip. See, like you miss a shift like that a little bit. Get the revs off and it's not, you know, you're happy that you're on a 400 bike. It is a bit chilly. No grip warmers, which I may get so I can ride a little bit in the winter when it's not uh, freezing cold out. So climb back up that hill and it's actually, you know, it doesn't look like it, but it's a, uh, it's 2,000 feet of elevation going up over this pass here. So, you know, you're climbing 2,000 feet in 10 minutes. It's, uh, it's pretty steep. Doesn't look like it, but it is. Kind of hard to tell on the, on the camera. So uh, I was going to talk about the brakes as well on this. You know, I found the brakes to be pretty good, pretty responsive. Uh, you know, coming down the mountain passes like this, and especially the the mountain passes in through in through the canyons, where there's a lot of really tight bends, I have found the brakes to be pretty good. Uh, you know, they could have a little more bite to them, but overall. They're good. I haven't. I've never felt where it's like, oh, the braking power isn't enough. Uh, the ABS feature is great on this, um, especially if you, you know, if you have to brake hard coming into a, a tight corner. The ABS is great, and the slipper clutch is great as well.
starting to get some colors on the trees. It is, uh, what, October 4th, I think, 5th, 6th, something like that, October 6th today. Uh, the other thing that I don't particularly like is the mirrors are not terrible but I mean they're just they're ugly and it's tough to get a view around your arms uh, the one modification I have done aside from changing out the coolant is I did build this little windscreen myself super easy uh, cost me about ten dollars to do and man that has made such a big difference on the uh on the highways and at higher speeds massive difference but really easy just bought a piece of lexan uh cut out the shape that i wanted and used the previous i don't know i'll call it a little plate because it's not a windscreen that comes with it it's a little it's a cover uh, use the cover as kind of a template and then extended it, cut it out with a, with a jigsaw and uh, heated it with a heat gun to bend it and then painted it with uh, some spray tint which came out okay. I'm not 100% happy with it, but I mean, for 10 bucks, it does its job. All right, so now you'll see how much higher this is than where we started out. You can really see the elevation change here. Beautiful day. The other thing is, uh, you know, first gear is, first and second gear kind of, well, second gear is okay. First gear is just really short. And uh, there's not a lot of uh, torque on this bike. I think it's what, 25 foot pounds of torque, something like that. Ooh. The other thing that I have been working on is around corners, you know, trail braking a little bit. Just applying a little bit of pressure to the rear brake. Gives you a little more stability in these, in these corners. Yeah, you can see how steep this is and I'm not using the brakes I'm I'm not giving it throttle really a little bit of throttle here and there and just kind of using the engine to brake itself
I'll say the best part about this bike is the weight. I mean, this thing just, it feels so light. Going through those mountain passes, I mean, just some of those corners are tight and you can just flick this bike around the corner so easily. So the switchbacks are super easy on this bike. Uh, it, it's, it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't feel like you have to move anything. We're at 5,100 feet. I think up at the top it's like 6,400 feet. Above sea level, that is. But yeah, uh, the weight of this is great. Especially, you know, braking. Weight has an effect on everything. It's the braking, it's acceleration, it's the handling, it's the suspension. The suspension is a little... Uh, a little rough. I haven't adjusted that at all in the rear. The front you can't adjust. But yeah, this thing is just so light. So the other thing, the other negative thing is the seat. And I know everyone has talked about this seat and how it pushes you forward until it crushes your crotch. You know, at first I thought the seat was a little hard as well, but uh, you get used to it, it's not bad. It, but it does just push you forward so bad. So I'll probably make an adjustment on the seat. Maybe recover it myself or buy the Ergo Fit seat. Just because it is really uncomfortable to keep getting pushed forward. I don't enjoy that. Can't wave, I was breaking. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, 2022 Z400. 670 miles, so I went a little over the uh, first service mark. But I'm sure it will survive. I'm gonna do an oil change today on it. Do the service myself. It's pretty simple. The dealer here wants to charge uh, $350 for a service, and that's just crazy. I bought all the parts: the Kawasaki oil filter, the Kawasaki oil, the crush washer. For uh, I think it was like $45. And then it's just a matter of changing those out, checking the chain, making sure all the other fluids are okay, and uh, yeah. pretty simple job. So here we are. So, I'll show you how I do this. I'm parked on a hill. I need to open my garage. So I push down, holding the clutch, push down on the rear brake. And then, keep foot on brake. Let out the clutch until you feel the friction zone. Give it a little gas, let off the brake. And there you go. And that's it.